Hello dear friends. Today it is a glorious June day and the sun is at its peak as we are nearing the time of the summer solstice. This beautiful time of year is celebrated all around the world and the light of the sun brings about the longest day of the year in the northern hemisphere. Midsummer, also known as Letha, is one of my most favorite times of the year and when I feel most alive and one of the ways I love to connect with nature at this time is walking barefoot and feeling the earth under my feet. And even living in the city, I find that coexisting in alignment with the seasons and the rhythms of the earth and falling in tune with nature's cycles brings such peace and a feeling of a deep connection. Living in England, each season of the year is so beautiful and so distinct. Each shares with us its own kind of magic, of colors, scents and textures. And in each new season, nature shares her bounty of all the beauty and abundance. And today, to celebrate summer, I'm crafting with one of my most favorite plants, and making a rose syrup. For me, rose is a true symbol of summertime, warmth and beauty, and the sweet smell and aroma I so deeply miss in the colder months of the year. And this beautiful syrup is so easy to make and is absolutely delicious. And today, I wanted to celebrate the longest day of the year by baking and crafting and spending as much time as I could enjoying my little outdoor space. I have found so much joy recently in taking the time to appreciate every corner of our little home and making it a space that is peaceful, inspiring and reflects the seasons. And in this way, I feel so much more connected to nature and I sometimes even forget that I live in a city. By inspiring myself to make seasonal crafts and decorate my home in alignment with the seasons, I feel that the home becomes a magical place that reflects nature and the world around me. And by bringing the gifts of nature into my home, I'm able to even more deeply appreciate all the beauty, variety and magic in all the intricate details of every flower and every leaf. And by reusing, recycling and repurposing things and materials, I'm able to decorate in a mindful way as well as inspiring my creativity and finding new ways to make something beautiful.
course, today I wanted to bake with something that was in season, and so I'm making a strawberry galette. This very easy recipe of a simple pastry and berries brings back beautiful childhood memories of gathering seemingly endless amounts of fresh berries from my grandmother's allotment in the deep of a hot Ukrainian summer. Of running through the rows of bushes of berries that were taller than me and feeling like Thumbelina in my own little magical world, a time ingrained in my memory and full of childhood carefree daydreaming, these are the memories that summer berries bring to me. I highly encourage you to try out this simple recipe with any berries that you prefer, and I'll leave details in the description. Dear friends, thank you so much for watching and I hope you also find ways to connect with this beautiful season of light and abundance. Wishing you all a wonderful day or night. Hello there everyone, I hope you're all doing well today. 
So it's been a little while since I last sat down here to talk to you all like this and this has been mainly due to a couple of different reasons and factors. Um, firstly, it's been a rather busy time recently at my ballet school and this summer term has been filled with so many different things and we've had children preparing for ballet exams as well recently which has been um, yeah, very busy and a bit of a hectic time. Um, so there's been that and also things with our flat and possible changes that are coming up um, on the horizon um, quite soon actually. So it's been a rather busy, busy time in general. Um, and so my videos recently have been a little bit shorter, as you may have noticed, and I haven't quite had the time to properly sit down and um, say hello to you all in the last couple of weeks um, and just update you all on what is happening. So I thought I would do that today. So we have officially been now given a date for our renovations that are going to be happening in our flat here and it's going to be around the end of July so we still have a little bit of time um, so me and my partner have been uh, very busy just trying to organize some things around the flat and just do a little bit of a clear out every now and again and we're trying to be very um, very strict with what we are going to keep what we actually really need um, and want to keep and things that perhaps we don't need to keep <laughs> um, so we've been rather busy trying to just organize things a little bit and even though we, we do still have some time um, I guess you you ultimately only see how many things you have, <laughs> how many belongings you have when you need to suddenly move or move out. Um, so <laughs> it's been a bit shocking to see how many things we actually have and need to move. We are going to have to officially move out of the flat for about a month um, since the whole, the whole apartment is being renovated, um, which is nice, I guess, <laughs> but this apartment is rented um, we are currently renting it um, we do really really hope in the future to be homeowners ourselves but for the meantime we are renting um, this place so it's always a little bit nerve-wracking when uh, suddenly you are asked to move and move all of your things and kind of just not knowing um, dates and when what is going to happen so it has just been a bit of a crazy few weeks to say the least and some quite uh, nerve-wracking weeks just kind of waiting to see what will happen um, and what we need to do. So we are going to have to move out for about for about a month and so the next couple of weeks are definitely going to be filled with a lot of packing, <laughs> a lot of organizing um, and so I did want to let all of you know uh, in advance um, in case uh, I do not post on time um, as I like to do every Sunday. My videos may come perhaps a day or two late. I will try my best to get a video out to you guys every week because I truly love um, sharing here with all of you and connecting with you all and um, it's just so so lovely and enjoyable for me to do that and to share things with all of you um, but I just wanted to mention that in case some of my videos may be a little bit late and that they also may be a little bit shorter just due to my general um, lack of time right now with everything else that is going on as well so I, I just wanted to let you guys know in advance so that is what is going to be happening um, but luckily uh, luckily this renovation is going to happen over the summer so um, I am luckily able to stay at my parents home in Wales which I think is where I'll be spending the majority um, of that time in the summer which I'm very grateful for <laughs> that I can actually still stay there and uh, my partner will be joining me as well for some of the time so um, I hope to also get a video out to you from Wales um, if I can or maybe a couple I'll see how it goes I may need to also produce some of the videos in advance while I, I'm still here here. So uh, you may see a little bit of content um, 
from both places in the next month or so to come. Um, but yes, so it's been a rather busy time here. Um, lots of different um, things happening. And so I just wanted to let all of you know in advance in case I may be a little bit disorganized <laughs> or a little bit late with some of my content. But hopefully um, I will still be able to get uh, a video out, out to you guys every single week. That is my goal. And yes, I also just wanted to say happy Letha, happy Midsummer to any of you who are also celebrating uh, this week. It is um, a time of year that I know many cultures and countries around the world all celebrate in their own different style, in their own different way. And I think that is really, really beautiful. And for me, uh, Letha or Midsummer is one of my most favorite times of year. Um, everything is just so, so green and so abundant right now, even here in London and around London as well. We, w me and my partner have been trying to uh, leave the city now um, as much as we can. Um, and to experience more of the countryside, uh, which we are not always able to do, um, just being quite busy. But it's been so nice. We are trying to get out um, every weekend, even if we only have a little bit of time, um, just to experience all the all the nature and the green and the beauty right now. And. Uh, I have also really been enjoying spending time on my balcony. As you can see, I have created uh, a little uh, sanctuary <laughs> for myself and it's been so fun to just uh, decorate it a little bit more and to have this um, extra space to just relax in. Um, because I, I find that I was kind of <laughs> running out of places to, to be um, in the flat and also to film. Um, so that's been really nice to have an, an extra place to kind of film some of the content. And I've really been enjoying just having that extra little uh, space for myself. I hope that gave you guys a little bit of motivation to also um, be creative and decorate your own space, um, no matter how small it is. So yes, uh, I think that is all I really have to share with you guys this week, apart from many, many changes. Um, I will try to keep you all updated as I go every week um, as to what is happening and where I will be um, but for the next few weeks I will still be here and hopefully be able to share lots more content with all of you. I hope to also share um, more herbal recipes if I can um, and if you have any suggestions or something that you would like to see then of course please do let me know. I always value all of your feedback and I just want to say also thank you so so much for all of your support and kind words and on all my videos um, recently as well and I, I really really appreciate it. I love reading all your messages and they are so um, heartwarming to me and so wonderful to know that we have such a beautiful um, and kind community here so thank you so much to all of you and I wish you a beautiful rest of your week and summer celebrations and I hope to see you all very soon. Take care. Bye guys.